How much of a gallon is a gallon? Let's find out, shall we? All right, so you guys have been hearing us for a long time saying that this is a gallon and this isn't quite a gallon and this, this is, is more 1. than a gallon. gallons and this is roughly a gallon. But you know what? We've never actually measured these things. So today we're going to measure them. Okay, so to get started, we're going to start with the thing that we believe is actually a gallon. It says one gallon right on it. That would be the glass fermenter, right? So the easiest way to do this is we have a two quart measure right here, which is half a gallon. But that doesn't pour real well, as evidenced by the blooper that you might see later. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't pour nicely. So I'm going to pour it into this pitcher really quickly and sloppily. Like that. Then I'm going to pour another two quarts into here. And that would make for a gallon, right? You with me so far? So now we're going to pour that into that, and then we're going to mark on that where an actual gallon is. And I was pretty right. We were saying... Right to the pitcher. Right to the bottom of I the I think spell. I actually measured that once a long time ago. So... Anyway, we, so... We don't have to We now know that that's a gallon. Because it's smart. Yeah. And now, move everything around. <laughs> it's like Tetris. This is like the craziest video we've ever made. <laughs> And this is supposedly a full gallon, right? So if I pour this into here. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. A gallon's only to here. All this time I'd be thinking it was up here, but it's actually just past the shoulder. That's awesome. That means you can actually make a real gallon in a one gallon container and still have decent headroom. That's actually really cool. But wait, there's more. Now, this thing. So that, we're just gonna pour that into here. Yes, that I'm fairly, con fairly positive is not a real gallon. So we know we have a gallon here, right? Well, what do you know? It's really a gallon. But it's clear up to here where this one is. Right, was but this is what I here. expected. A gallon full would be like up here, right? But instead it's down here. On this guy, that's what I would call full. Maybe even a little higher would be full, making this a real one gallon. This is probably more like 1.2 gallons. Very interesting. This is awesome. I'm so glad we're doing this. <laughs> no, the big boy. Find out where a gallon falls. Yeah, I gotta pour that into there. Get ready for some splash, folks. <laughs> and now, the little big mouth bubbler, which is supposed to be 1.4 gallons. But because this is so full, this might be difficult. I need your help flipping it to the side a bit so I can... I only spilled a couple of drops, I think. Okay. So, yeah, a little bit spilled, but still. One gallon on this? Is only like there. This is supposed to be 1.4 gallons. Okay, guess what? We gotta measure. We gotta more. measure more water. Can you just refill that? Yep. Which means we need more water. Okay, two quarts. Two quarts. Now, according to what this is supposed to be, all of that should not fit in here because that would make it one and a half gallons. This is only supposed to be 1.4 gallons. Yet. One and a half gallons to the rim. This is cool. <laughs> what this means, okay, is now we can actually really use this to verify. If we make a brew that goes to here, we know it's about one and a half gallons. But the likelihood that we're making one and a half gallons of actual brew is slim because we're using a wide mouth container. Why do you use a wide mouth? For a reason. Usually it's because you're putting fruit in there or solids or whatnot. So. Once we rack this, we would put it into this container, which is a little over a gallon, like 1.2 gallons or so. Then once we rack it from that, we can put it into this one, and we end up with a real one gallon. 
science. You just got to love how it works out sometimes. <laughs> but basically at this point, what do we know? Gallon. Gallon. This is gallon and a half. Yeah, I, I said gallon. Oh, okay. Gallon. Gallon. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so now we can estimate when we're doing future brews. That's all this was really about. Just a silly little video to show you guys the differences in some of the fermenters. And finally, put it to rest whether that's really a gallon or not. And it turns out it really was. If you like this video, we got a few hundred videos, sort of like this, not exactly like this, where we make wine, ciders, meads, and beers and show you guys how. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And don't forget to check out our sister channels, CS Garden and Grow and CS Bread and Beyond. Yeah, and CS Bread and Beyond. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay, so we have two quarts or a half gallon, and we have we have a one gallon supposedly fermenter. The moment of truth. Well, not really, because I have to refill this. <laughs> okay, so much for accuracy.